<laughs> so, yeah, I'm Christina. Hey guys, it's Christy. Today I'm going to be doing a review to Exo Next Door. Now this review is going to be kind of short because it's a short series. It's just 30, like each episode is just 30 minutes long. And actually this drama was on Drama Fever, but they ran out, their, their license with Drama Fever ran out. So now if you want to see this drama, and you're going to have to go to drama.net to see it. The good thing about this one though is that because because it's 30 minutes, I don't even think it's 30 minutes. On drama.net, you don't have to, it doesn't come in like two or three parts. It just comes in one. <laughs> so that's the best. Um, So we're going to get right into the story. Okay, so in the middle of the night, four men move into this house. Next door lives a girl named Ji Yun Hee. When she gets particularly embarrassed, she blushes. Like a deep, deep, deep. The more embarrassed she gets, the more red she turns. When her mother, who keeps threatening to kick her out, sends her over with rice cakes for the neighbors. She finds out that the four men are, are Chanyeol, Dio, Baekhyun, and Sehun from EXO. Just so happens that EXO is her favorite group ever. Chanyeol actually brought the three of them over with him to this house that used to belong to his grandfather. He brings them there because he needs to find a necklace. And the necklace was his good luck charm and he broke it and ever since then he's been having all of this horrible, horrible luck. He blames himself for an accident that happens to Suho where he hurts his knee. And he, he blames the fact that he broke the, 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 the little necklace. So he's he's looking for that particular charm. While he's looking for that necklace, Tanyo and Dio start developing feelings for Yeonhee. Yeonhee's brother, he's studying martial arts, right? And he's kind of dumb. I don't know if he's like dumb on purpose, but he's kind of dumb. He kind of forms a friendship with Sehun over coffee, over drip coffee, because Sehun's kind of looking for a place that will sell drip coffee and so Yunhee's brother kind of takes him to the tent where he stays and makes him some coffee and Sehun is like amazed by it, right? So her brother kind of figures out or kind of realizes that they're EXO and he kind of starts looking for, for them online and he sees a video of them where they're handling fire, right? He kind of tells her to stay away from them because they're magic wielders and that's dangerous and it's just, it's just kind of funny. Her brother kind of becomes a fountain of information for EXO about his sister somewhere along the way um <laughs> we kind of find out that Tanya and you he used to be really good friends when they were younger they were little kids every time that she would start getting like turning red he would he gave her a jump rope and would tell her just jump rope because it'll look like you've been exercising and that's why you're red <laughs> it's a really cute little drama this drama really introduced me to exo i tried really hard not to like exo okay because i'm already really obsessed with k-pop as it is and i'm obsessed with all of these different bands and so i just i did not need another band to get obsessed with right so i tried really 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 hard not to get into exo but it didn't work i got a to exo anyway <laughs> this drama was really cool i liked it the friendship between sehun and yonhee's brother is so freaking funny and so out of this so out of place like i don't <laughs> it's so you would not expect sehun to be his friend i guess it was really funny okay so yonhee kind of ends up being their maid like she kind of goes over and starts cleaning after the disastrous rice cake incident she kind of goes and she starts she starts cleaning their house for them right and tanyol is really upset because she doesn't remember who he is. And he knew instantly who she was. I mean, of course he did. She turns red every time she she gets embarrassed, right? So Chanyo knew exactly who she was right away. And he's really, really upset that she doesn't know who he is. He's really, like, upset over that. He's upset over that, and he's upset over the fact that he can't find the necklace that he needs. And so he kind of takes it out on her, you know? He really treats her badly. Apparently he didn't he, he didn't used to be like that. Like, she's she's watching... um one of the variety shows where EXO was on and, and you know she's like I wonder why he doesn't smell like that anymore so I thought I don't think he used to be that way and then all of a sudden you know he's like that because he's he blames himself for everything that's been happening that's wrong and then he kind of forces her to find out who he is like they get trapped in a room in a secret room <laughs> and they kind of spend the night there because like he finds the room and then she accidentally closes the door um while she's in there so they're kind of stuck in that room it's kind of when he starts giving her more hints and trying to like forcefully like help her remember who he is and you know she does find out and it's really great the other thing i really like about this drama is there's a scene where obviously young he has this really problem this big problem with blushing right and so she held she at one point she liked this guy and he was really mean to her and really rude to her and he just kind of walked away from her i guess he come he came back i think he was i don't know if he was doing his military service or if he just you know was in college and came back i can't remember but i think he was in the military but I can't remember. He comes back. Like, he remembers who she is because she starts blushing as soon as she sees him. She starts crying for some reason. I can't really remember why she starts crying. Tanyo, Dio, Pekyon, and Sehun kind of, like, are like, why is she crying? Like, what did you do to her? And he's like, no, I didn't do anything. You know, they're like, why did you make our... I can't remember what they call her. Intom? Intom girl? I think that's what they call her. Like, our, why did you make a girl cry? And he's like... I'm sorry, like, I didn't do anything, like, we're a girl. And because 
like they protected her and they're kind of like her guardians like he gets really interested in her and he starts calling her so, like after you know, he finds out who Chanya is and that she's that he's her long term her long her childhood friend the dude calls her and video chats her and Chanya kind of takes the phone and is like who are you and why are you calling my girlfriend and the dude's like girlfriend no he's like who are you why are you calling her and he's like um is young he there and he's like you need to stop calling her and the dude's like so who are you and he's like i'm her boyfriend chan and you need to stop calling her and you know he's like my boyfriend like it's really cute and it's really funny like it's really it's a cute little drama and it's it's kind of great that it's a short series it was a lot of fun that's it for this drama guys i'm sorry if it's kind of short but it's it's a short series and those are always really really short so next week i'm going to be doing a review to dr stranger after that i'll be doing a review to cheese and trap So that's um, pretty much it, guys. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you have any requests. If you agree with me, disagree with me, let me know down in the comments below. If you want to see these dramas first and then drop me a line, you know, uh, go ahead and do that. If you want to see these dramas and you don't know where, um, I use Hulu.com on my computer. I use Hulu Plus on my phone and my Xbox. I use Drama Fever on my computer, my phone, and my internet ready TV. I also use Drama.net, but Drama.net has kind of these advertisements that are kind of risque. Um, if you do the full screen, it doesn't really matter, but since you since each part does kind of come in four parts and you have to hit play kind of have to exit the full screen and there's these these ads other than that it's a pretty good drama i mean it's a pretty good site that it's commercial free it's good quality streaming and it is free right now i prefer drama fever because because um i'm a premium member and everything's kind of commercial free i don't have to worry about, <laughs> about commercials like i do with hulu um if you guys have any requests let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see something but want a different a different opinion first you know let me know and i'll I'll do it for me. Just let me know in the comments below and I'll do it for you. I'll review it for you. Um, if you guys want to, I mean, I'm up for almost any kind of dramas right now. I can for the Korean ones, but I'm up for anything. That's it for this drama, guys. And I will see you guys next week with a new review. See you later, my drama tears. Annyeong!